In this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to save animations in the form of a GIF or video file in matplotlib. Now normally, whenever we display animations like this code right here, it appears inside our matplotlib window, right? This is our animation playing out. It's a simple bar graph that's having its values updated, okay? Now the question is that how do we save this as a GIF or a video file that we can maybe, you know, share somewhere else, upload it somewhere else, okay? Or maybe use it in some other application, okay? So how do we do that? Well, it's actually quite simple. We need to use the save method on our animation object. And if, by the way, you're confused with any of the code here, just go check out my previous video. We've discussed animation in detail over there. It's a whole tutorial on animation and how to actually do it. This video is just focused on how to save animation because there's a lot of you know problems associated with this. So I'm gonna explain all those in this video. Okay, so to save this, just do my animation dot gif. And if I run this now, it's gonna run our code, all right? And you'll notice that when this initially showed up, the animation was already complete. That's just something that happens whenever you call save. So just don't call this unless you actually want to save it. And here's our file over here, myanimation.gif. It's playing out pretty smoothly. That's cool. Now, let's, let me explain a few things. First of all, a GIF is a great format for simple animations. Like if your animation is less than 10 seconds long, then a GIF is a good choice. But there's gonna be some problems if you try saving complex animations in a GIF. What's basically gonna happen is that it's gonna take, it's gonna take a long time to actually save. And second, it's gonna be really slow. Like the animation is gonna, gonna be like in, in slow-mo, basically. And number three, the animation size is gonna be huge, like in like 10 or 20 MB for like a, a 10 second animation, 10, 20 second animation. And that's actually if the frames are really high. Okay, if this was like 500 frames, then our GIF would be a lot slower. This is just 30 frames, so it's perfectly fine. Okay, so either for very large animation, like in you know a thousand frames or something, hundreds of frames, or very long animation, we need to use video files. Okay, but how do we do that? If I try saving this as an MP4 file, then we run into some problems unknown file extension and the origin for this error is actually this over here basically matplotlib uses a dependency called ffmpeg to convert animations to video format now for most people this dependency is not available on their systems and that includes me i don't have it right now and we're gonna download and set it up okay so this dependency is just a simple file. It's a zip file. You need to download it, just extract it, link the exe, the file path, and that's it. Okay, and then we can continue as normal. And the only reason the GIF files have been converting so far is because I have the pillow library. So it tries to use ffmpeg by default. It doesn't find it, so it uses pillow instead. Okay, now that's also an another piece of advice. If the GIF code is not working for you, download and install Pillow, okay? But obviously the recommended solution is to use FFMPEG, whether you're doing GIFs or whether you're doing videos. So let's take a look at how we can obtain this dependency. So I'm gonna include a link for this in the description below. It's basically this website for FFMPEG. You go here and you download the one you need. I, I already have it downloaded. Let me just show you what it looks like. You need to go to whichever, okay? And, you know, Windows or Linux, depending on your, you know, dependencies on your operating system. And just ignore this one. We need the zip file. We need the release build. So go here and download the zip file. Once you have that, basically you're looking for an EXZ of sorts like this. It's gonna be this file, this bin. And then you go here to the FFMPEG and you just uh, get the file path, okay? I, I already copy pasted it into my code. All right, so once we have that all done, what we're gonna do 
is let me copy paste that hold on and come here okay and now we need to actually make matplotlib acknowledge the fact that we have this dependency okay so to do that hold on uh, import matplotlib i need to use something from it matplotlib.rc params okay animation dot ffmpeg or path and we assign this our file path oh wait remove that all right cool now is there anything i'm missing no so now we can continue to the next step which is creating our animation writer a writer object okay and over here we do animation huh. all right from matplotlib import animation okay animation dot ffmpeg this one okay and we have the fps parameter here pass in 60 or whatever uh, you don't need well we don't need 60 let's just go with 30 okay and then we do metadata or this is just optional you don't need to do this but you know there, there's some extra information in there so we could pass in stuff like length uh, you know, who made the video, like, you know, uh, artist, artist is equal to uh, Coder's Legacy, okay, and bitrate, bitrate is, you know, uh, how do I define this, well, it's used as a quality for videos, okay, higher is better, I'm just going to go with 1800, and yeah, we're done, what's this little error I'm getting? Oh, wait, hold on. I think this takes a dictionary. Yeah, all right, cool. We're done. Now, if I run this code here, and uh, I know it's what this is. We need to escape these, okay? So that we just need to add a double slash in there. And if I run this now, it's going to take some time to save depending on the size. All right, there we go. So here's our mp4 file, and I can't play it in VS Code, but if I run this, all right, that's great. Okay, this is our mp4 file, and we can actually see here, if you compare the sizes, we can see here that the mp4 file is 11 KB and the GIF file is 25 KB. So you can already tell which one's more efficient, right? Now let's do the same thing for our second animation file. It's pretty cool looking, honestly. So it's gonna be gonna be real great to see this in action. Okay, there we go. And yeah, cool. Now let me run this. And behold, here we go. Let me just open up that location again and run this file. Hmm, did it not save correctly? Oh wait, hold on. It's saving. This one's a bit bigger. It has 500 frames. And you can actually try this out yourself. Try saving this as a GIF and you'll see just how bad the result is. Okay, it's gonna be like really bad. Okay, because this is 500 frames. This is only suitable as a video. And you can see the animation here. Let's just close that toe and view it as an MP4 file. Okay, 65 KB, even though it's like uh, 15 times the frames of this video, it's, it's just five times it's the size because it's efficient, right? And there we go. It's pretty short, just two seconds. But, you know, it has a lot of frames. It's very smooth, as you can see, right? That's because there's a lot of frames in it. And that is weird. A VLC problem, I guess. Yeah, cool. I felt like I was making a mistake somewhere, so I actually paused the video for a moment and double checked with my website, the code over there. And turns out, yes, I was making a mistake. We need to pass in the writer object in here, okay? Otherwise, none of the settings that we defined here will actually take place. And that's actually why the video length was so short because it was on the default value, because we have 30 FPS, right? 
and we have 500 frames. That should logically mean 16 seconds, right? So if you actually run this now, we'll get the updated animation file, and this is 16 seconds, so we know it's working. Okay? And if you want to speed this animation up, you can just increase the FPS, okay? And with this, we're done with the video. We've covered everything I hope to discuss, the installation method, the difference between GIFs and videos, and the various options that we can use, all right? So if there's something else you guys want to see, do let me know in the comment section below. Do subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future content. Leave a like, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought, and I will hope to see you guys in a later video. Bye then.